I want to show you how I turn this into this. Homemade Concord grape jelly turns out so beautifully. It's delicious on toast and you can make a fresh grape juice while you're at it. Stay tuned. There are just grapes everywhere. Okay, here's my haul of grapes. Got about a third of a bucket. Next step is to sort them, wash them, squeeze them. You wanna make sure you're only picking the grapes that are nice and fresh and round. And here, I've had to sort through quite a few. We're at the very end of the season. We've had a couple of frosts, but this is gonna be enough to get me five and a half cups of juice, which is what I need. Now you're just gonna wanna pour your grapes into the pot. They're all clean. I'm gonna add a little bit of water here. I add like a cup of water to start. This is just like a pastry cutter. Use whatever you have. And just smash the grapes down. All right, now I'm just gonna set this on your stove and just kind of bring it to a simmer so we can get all those juices out of the grapes. Okay, this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. You can see the difference in the texture and what has happened to the juice. So now we're gonna strain this and, uh, and just through the regular strainer, then we're gonna put it through cheesecloth and get our juice out. Just like that. Gravity feed for a minute. And you're just gonna to wanna to take your spoon and just kind of smush the grapes down through the strainer trying to get as much juice as possible, and then we'll put it through the cheesecloth. Now I'm pretty sure I've got five cups of juice here, but I've decided I'm gonna squeeze out the rest of this pulp through this white cloth that I have that I use in the kitchen. Squeeze the juice through here. You're probably gonna stain your hands doing this, so beware of that. You can also do this with cheesecloth, and switch up. this is what I'm gonna do later when I strain the juice. Put it through cheesecloth. Okay, you can see on my grape juice, this is pretty much just pulp left over here. You can just go in the compost pile. Pour the rest of this. Okay, probably another three quarters of a cup of juice out of that. We're gonna strain this back into this pot with cheesecloth. So there's still a lot of goo here you're filtering out. So that's what's clogging up your cheesecloth. Just rinse it out and go again. This is the fourth cup. This is the fifth and a half. this nice little container here, little pitcher, and I'm gonna pour this one more time through, and we're gonna have some fresh grape juice, which will be amazing in the fridge to just drink. Final strain for the purest juice. Now all I have to do is add sugar and water to that. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna start with just a quarter cup of sugar. I don't like my juice is too sweet. I'm gonna fill it up with water. be a little stronger. Could, could use, maybe I put a little too much water in, but mm, that's good. I'm gonna give my juice one last run through the cheesecloth. So we make sure it's really clear. All right, the hard work's over. Now we make the jelly. All right, the actual process for making the jelly goes really fast. You're gonna wanna have all your stuff ready to go. You want to have your clean jars ready to go, your lids. This is what you're going to funnel your jelly into your jars with. You're going to want a lid lifter. It has a magnet on the bottom. You're going to want your jar lifter for when they're hot, when you're done. 
I use a little piece of paper towel. After we fill the jars, I wipe the rim to make sure there's nothing on the rim. We're gonna use two and a half cups of sugar in this recipe. It's not much sugar. I like to really taste the grape, and so I don't use much sugar. And because of that, you're gonna to wanna to use a low sugar pectin. I use this real fruit ball, lower or no sugar needed pectin. Since this is multiple servings, it's good to know that six tablespoons of this equals one package. So if your recipe calls for one package, you can substitute six tablespoons out of here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add six tablespoons of our pectin to a quarter cup of sugar to start. Thing you're gonna to wanna to have ready is your canner. All heated up nicely. You want your grape juice in a big stock pot and you want your lids warming in some hot water so they're going to be nice and hot and sterilized. All right, so I've got the pectin and the quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to add that to my grape mixture and stir that in. And, and we're going to turn on the stove. You want to get this, bring this to a boil. I'm using a dark stock pot because everything that this touches is going to stain. When this starts warming up, foam starts to develop, which you can skim off. So I've got an extra little bowl here, and I also have a little, uh, maybe half a teaspoon tab of butter to throw in there to calm down the foam as well. I want to take this to a full rolling boil, and I've been stirring it the whole time. You can see this foam here. This is what you're going to want to skim off. You just dump it in your little bowl get that foam off so now that we have a nice roll full rolling boil I'm gonna put the sugar in here goes the sugar so once we put the sugar in we want to bring it back to a rolling boil and then time it for one minute and then we take it off the stove okay shut that off we're going to bring our lids over to the counter so they're ready and close. All right, here we go. And you just start ladling it into the jars. Half pint, quarter pint jars. Oh man, that looks great. And you just set it aside. That is some thick goodness. really gelling up quickly. I'm going to make sure there's no jelly on the rim so that it would prevent it from taking a seal. Just grab your lids with the magnet lifter. Just want to go hand tight on the lids. I don't have much here, just four. All good. Now we're going to put this in the canner. Just going to process for five minutes. Pour it down in there. When that's at a boil, we time for five minutes. All right, timer just went off. Pull your jars up out of the water. Now you can take them over to a towel. There we go. And let these sit on the counter they will seal themselves you'll hear sometimes you can hear it pop when they seal then you take the rings off and store them i gotta be honest this batch set up much faster and i got way less than the first batch so i don't know what went different um kind of curious how things work out i have maybe three more jars of this from my first batch it's just much thicker i don't know if i used too much pectin or there was more natural pectin in these grapes because it was a while after I did the first batch. That's possible. This is the leftover little batch here and it's just, it's got a nice uh, jelly consistency. You can see it's just nice and thick and uh, this will just go in the fridge and, and get eaten on toast. It is really good though. It's a lot of work for a few jars, but you did it yourself. And it tastes great. Now what we need to do is try a piece of 
toast. It's my homemade sourdough bread. Now that looks good. It's so good. Well, I hope you like this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, wait, how, what is going on here? No, this is mine. See you in the next video. Scroll in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. <laughs>